The first settlers coming out here were farmers. It was just good food. We never knew what hunger was. Homemade cake, cookies, pies. If there was a gathering, okay, we need to get there early for everybody to eat some Pantini's cookies. That's what we survived off of was pheasant, quail, deer, rabbit, and fish. I remember being able to take a chicken that you raise and kill it and feed your family. To me, a young fryer, he's got his color, he's got all his fret feathers, the eating size. I don't know how to, how to say it. Turtles, deer, they shot raccoons. And he could use that hammer and kill this rabbit. My dad would hunt a lot. We even had raccoon. There's a knack to taking their must bags out. I gotta get these ribs on. We're gonna have people eating at one. Even if you give someone the recipe and you tell them how to do it, it will never be exactly like yours because these black hands prepared it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. You know, with the civil rights and all that, it was kind of hard for a, a black man. There were, I guess, some, I don't know, jealousies or something there going on, but you know, that was just the way it was back then. You just powered through and did what you had to do. I'm planning on planting alfalfa about August, September. No offense to anybody from the city. Farm kids out work them any day. I remember having cousins come out of the city that didn't know where an egg came from. They didn't know that that pig was their bacon. This is called a salsa pepper. Great when you're making salsa. That's a jalapeno, more jalapenos, banana peppers, because I'm addicted to banana peppers. Gil Alexander, Sharon Alexander, they're one of our largest farmers. Well, black people don't farm. Okay, not quite sure what one's supposed to look like, but that's what I do. This is wheat country. When I was coming up, we were trying to get away from agriculture because it has connotations of slavery. It's kind of come full circle because to me, I find it attractive. I really think a great opportunity to preserve Nicodemus is around food, around agriculture, because that's kind of basic. Can we grow food there? We don't make no difference who you are, you're welcome. If you come by and I'm sitting down to the table eating my dinner, you're welcome to sit down and eat. They learned to harvest from the natural environment. They could survive out here.